Soriano of Makakin Central. Joining her are Ms. Maggie Turismo, Ms. Carla Tela of Beauty Side, Ms. Kultura, Maria Dorn Castillo of Roadside, Ms. Kalikasan, Ms. Antoinette Tila of Beauty Side, and Ms. Malikai, Ms. Jasmine Ormaza of BJH Compound. And we also likewise acknowledge the presence of our Inang Nanbagyo, who are with us this morning. May I also acknowledge the better half of our Mayor, Ma'am Arlene, and the better half of our Congressman, Ma'am Sorry. Again, okay, umaga po. I have also seen earlier uh, Sir Brenson, the presence of our Honorable Councillor Elmer Latin. Again, okay, umaga po, Sir. And of course, to all our fellow public servants, friends and friends of our media and everyone around the world who's joining us in celebrating this important day. Baguio has always been a colorful and multicultural city of diversity. Apart from being a haven for arts and culture, we are also known as the home of quality learning, the gateway of the Cordilleras, and just recently, the first a Philippine city to be hailed as a Hall of Famer in the ASEAN Clean Tourist City Standards Award category. We are home to the friendliest and honest taxi drivers, service-oriented policemen, world-renowned artists, creatives, cosplayers, athletes, beauty queens, and of course, to common Ibagios who love to wear their boots and hat as we welcome the start of the Vermont's Just Like Today. This is what makes Baguio, Baguio. Our people, our vision, and the fusion of tradition, innovation, and celebration. The role of our leaders in our city's metamorphosis is undeniably essential. At this juncture, for his Baguio Day message, let us hear it from our Congressman, Honorable Mark Go. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Rachel and Benson. Her Excellency Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson and her supportive husband, Mr. Aubrey Carlson. Mayor Benji McGannon and his uh, lovely wife Arlene, Vice Mayor Ian Lowan, members of the City Council, other government officials from the different line agencies of the national government, heads and uh, of the local city government of Baguio, Attorney Marlo Quadra of Jame Management Corporation, Kunung Barangays and other Barangay officials, fellow workers in government, our award this, uh, this morning, uh, Ms. Baguio and her team, Boy Scout of the Philippines, Girl Scout of the Philippines, men and women in uniform, my fellow educators present uh, this morning, friends, ladies and gentlemen, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Today we gather to commemorate a significant milestone in our city's history, the 115th Charter Anniversary of Baguio City. Our beloved city has undergone a remarkable transformation over the years. What began as a modest hill station has blossomed into a thriving metropolitan, a melting pot of cultures, traditions, and aspirations. Our city is now home to people from all corners of the Philippines, each bringing with them their unique perspectives and enriching our community vibrant tapestry. This diversity has become one of the Baguio's greatest strengths, fostering a dynamic environment where innovation and tradition coexist harmoniously. What sets Baguio apart from other urbanized areas in the Philippines is our city's ability to embrace development without losing our cultural identity. 
while many cities have been swept up in the tides of modernity, offer often we ground ourselves in our heritage. Baguio has remained steadfast in the commitment to preserving the rich tradition of our indigenous communities. The vibrant presence and contributions of our indigenous peoples continue to be a living testament to our deep respect and recognition for our roots. This unique blend of development and cultural preservation is evident in every facet of Baguio life. From our architecture that marries contemporary design with traditional elements, to our festivals that celebrate both the old and the new, Baguio has shown that progress did not come at the cost of our heritage. We do not merely coexist with our traditions, we actively celebrate and sustain them, ensuring that they remain dynamic and relevant for generations to come. Baguio has been a nurturing ground for some of the Philippines' most outstanding citizens, individuals whose achievements have not only brought honor to our city, but have also significantly contributed to the nation and the world. Today, as we honor the awardees of Baguio's outstanding citizens, we are reminded of the legacy of excellence that Baguio has cultivated over the years. Consider the remarkable journey of Benedicto Cabrera, better known as Belka, our national artist for visual arts, whose works have captured the soul of our nation through his paintings. Or Kidla Tahimi, the father of Philippine alternative cinema, and now national artist for film, whose pioneering spirit has pushed the boundaries of storytelling and art in ways that resonate deeply with our collective consciousness. They are not just artists, they are cultural icons who have shaped the way we see ourselves as Filipinos. We also take pride in Edward Kulayan, a world champion in mixed martial arts, whose discipline and determination are emblematic of the grit and resilience that define the people of Baguio. His victories in the ring are not just personal triumphs, but triumphs for every Baguio resident who dares to dream and strives to excel. Baguio has also produced leaders like Romeo Bronner Jr., who is now the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. He is currently serving as the first in command next to the Commander-in-Chief and as immediate advisor to the Secretary of the Department of National Defense. He is responsible for the operations of the AFP. His leadership, marked by unwavering dedication, reflects the values instilled in him by his roots, a com commitment to service, discipline, and the pursuit of excellence. We know Justice Marbit Leonen, a respected associate justice of the Supreme Court who has long been an advocate for social justice and human rights. His contributions to the legal field and his commitment to upholding the Constitution have made him one of the most influential legal minds in our country today. Justice Lonen's career, deeply rooted in his values of fairness and integrity, reflects the spirit of Baguio a spirit that seeks justice, equity, and the common good. This city is also home to young, vibrant, and dynamic beauty queens. True manifestations of what it means to be a proud Cordillera woman. Haile Versosa was crowned Miss International in 2016, using her platform to promote mental health awareness to make a meaningful impact we have Krishna Gravides in 2024, is now the 2024 Miss World Philippines, and Tara Valencia in 2024 Miss Supranational Philippines. Krishna and Tara are both slated to represent our country on the world stage this coming year, embodying the poised and indomitable spirit of Baguio. 
With such looks through sons and daughters, Baguio remains an important thread in the rich historical tapestry of our country. The people of Baguio, through their contributions in various fields, arts, governance, sports, public service, have ensured that our city is, just, is not just a place on the map, but a vital participant in the nation's journey towards progress and development. As we reflect on the achievements of our outstanding citizens, we are reminded that Baguio's significance extends beyond the geographical boundaries. Our city has been and continues to be a crucible for leadership and innovation. The values that are instilled in us, the spirit of community, resilience in the face of adversity, and a deep respect for our cultural heritage are the same values that guide our leaders in this national role. Baguio's influence, therefore, is felt far beyond the mountains. It reaches into the halls of power, the fields of creativity, the arenas of competition where Baguio residents continue to make their mark. Today, we, have also, we also pay tribute to the spirit of Baguio, a spirit that has weathered countless storms, both literal and metaphorical. From the devastation, natural disasters, to the trials of economic hard of hardships, Baguio has emerged stronger, more united, and more determined to shape its own future. Baguio is a city that honors its history, not by dwelling on it, but by using it as a foundation for growth and development. Development is an inevitable fact of life, but in our city it is you, my Baguio family, who determine how that development takes shape. We have always believed that progress should be driven by the needs and aspirations of the community, rather than imposed from the outside. In Baguio, we have shown that development is not just about infrastructure or economic growth. It is about creating a city that reflects the values and the dreams of its people. In this respect, we must recognize the invaluable role of our 128 barangays, regional life agencies, various civil society organizations, and non-governmental groups that tirelessly work at the grassroots level. These groups are the lifeblood of our community, ensuring that every voice is heard, that every citizen has the opportunity to contribute to the betterment of Baguio. Their efforts in nurturing the grassroots are crucial in making sure that development is inclusive and that no one is left behind. The barangays are where the real work of governance happens, where the needs of the people are directly addressed, and where the spirit of communities is strongest. It is in the barangays that we see the true character of Baguio, the, the, the generosity, the agility, and the willingness to help one another. Our agencies and organizations, on the other hand, bring together citizens with a shared passion for making a difference, whether through environmental conservation, education, health, or cultural preservation. Together, you have formed the backbone of our city's progress, ensuring that Baguio remains a city for all its people. As we navigate the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead, I want to assure you that this representation will always serve to support you. Whatever path the people of Baguio choose to take, no matter how difficult the challenges may be, I am committed to working alongside you. My dedication for city and its people is unwavering. I will continue to advocate for the policies and programs that will empower us to achieve our collective goals with utmost character and integrity. Baguio's strength has always been its people. Our resilience, our creativity, our commitment to making our city a better place. As we look back to the future, let us draw these qualities to guide us. Let us continue to honor our past 
embrace the present and build a future where every citizen of Baguio has the opportunity to thrive. Together, we can ensure that Baguio remains a city of hope, progress, and unity. A city that we can all call and will all be proud to call our home. Again, maraming maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang lungsod ng Baguio.